Hey guys, Ashford here, and I think I want to just do a short little quick vlog here. don't really have a topic in mind. Topics are hard to come by, which is the reason why I kind of stopped vlogging. And I, I still video, no doubt, I still video, but I really enjoy just making entertainment videos, and not necessarily vlogs. Because I'll do whatever entertains me, and that's what entertains me, so. Uh, drive sober, get pulled over. Okay, I thought there was something bad. Like an accident. So, I don't know, a lot of things have been going on in my life. Uh, in my past video, you guys saw the proposal that my boyfriend did. And he did that at Eagle Creek when we were hiking. It was really sweet. I wasn't expecting it really. I mean, I was expecting him to uh, uh, propose, but I just didn't know when. And I wasn't expecting that because that was a, an annual trip we go on. And. It was an annual trip that we go on, so uh, I was all excited for all the friends who were coming along with us and just getting started. It happened. He proposed on the first day we went hiking. I think we were about oh, like a mile and a half into our hike, and we uh, trailed, veered off to a, uh, a waterfall to take some pictures because normally we take we would take pictures on the way back out at this waterfall because it's kind of a, a backtrack. But instead, he was like, oh, let's go before, because we're usually always tired. Which makes sense, we usually are. After a really long hike, so. And then we got down to the, the little outlet thing, took some pictures, and, and all of a sudden we were like, hey, let's get some group shots. And his uh, brother came in from town, from Montana, as well as his girlfriend. And then we started getting single individual shots. A couple shots, I guess. And so they took my camera. And afterwards, they were like, didn't you think it was weird that, like, there were five people in a line, you know, taking photos of you guys? I was like, no, nah, not really. I mean, people want to take photos of the awesome scenery and the waterfall, and I didn't really care. Like, we did it every, every year. We would take photos of, you know, each other and everything, so I wasn't expecting it. And then all of a sudden, he uh, started kneeling down on one knee, and here I am thinking he was falling because there was a whole bunch of rocks around and they were slippery and so I started catching him by his shoulder and I'm pretty sure I didn't hear him say or ask will you marry me I just kept saying oh oh what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing I think we had a video of it but it didn't come out very well and this guy's gonna cut me off I just know it That was a cutoff, or not, because that guy left. Um, speeding to a red light. What a trooper. So he got down on one knee. I kept saying, what are you doing, what are you doing? And then as soon as he opened up the box to show me the ring, I was just like, oh, babe. And I gave him a hug and a kiss, and he turns around to our family and friends and says, I think that's a yes. And uh, there are a couple other people around there, too, so... This guy's on his cell phone. I don't know if you can see it in the video in front of me. Uh, and uh, they all clap. There's some other people there. And they congratulated me and us, and 
I don't know, for the next three days I was in the wilderness and couldn't text or update my status for Facebook or anything, tell my, call my friends and family that he proposed. And so I had asked him, I was like, so who knows? He's like, oh, pretty much everyone. I was like, what? You kidding? Oh, I guess my parents knew, my sisters knew. I mean, that's obvious. But then like a whole bunch of my friends had an idea. They didn't know exactly when he was going to propose. But uh, he had hidden the ring in our housemate's room so that I wouldn't go looking for it. And I was honestly, I don't go snooping anywhere. I mean, I would like things to be a surprise. So I had no idea. And then he had given it to the ring to his brother to hold on to while we were going camping because he figured I'd look in his ba bag or something. I don't know. I didn't. So I have photos of them all together because I went off to take pictures at the waterfall and I have photos of them trying, his brother trying to give him the ring all stealth like. It's pretty funny. It's like a step by step photo shot of what went on that day, which is pretty nice. It's good to have a history of that stuff as a keepsake. So now I'm just trying to get all these wedding plans done and oh my gosh. We didn't we couldn't decide on a date at first. I I know our our favorite my favorite number is 14. We hooked up on a uh, June 14th of 2009. So he knew that I liked that number. I liked the number June 14, 2014. And it was perfect because it was on a Saturday. But that, that's like two years away, right? So we were either deciding that or in a year from now. And so uh, we actually decided a year from now on June 14th. scares the shit out of me when cars come around really fast like that. And great, she's right behind me. So yeah, we got the, the venue. We got our photographer. We even got the DJ all set up, ready to go. Um, the only, uh, I'm not sure if I want to do my flowers myself or get a florist. Florist is so expensive. I hear that making flowers are easy, but it's the whole keeping them, you know, looking good is the hard part. I don't know about that. I'm kind of up in the air still. 